As former President Trump starts a historic legal battle, will Americans get to see it unfold inside of the courtroom? He pleaded not guilty to 37 charges yesterday, but all we got to see were courtroom sketches. Now, federal courts do not allow cameras, but it's not the law. Could the rule be changed for this unprecedented trial? News Nation's Brian Enton looking into this issue for us. Brian, what did you find out so far? Natasha, it is possible that the rule could be changed, but it's almost never been done. And at this point, it does seem unlikely. It's interesting, though. I mean, this is really in what could be the trial of the century, and the public will see very, very little of it uh, if, th if this rule uh, stands up, this federal court rule that typically does not allow any kind of recording, audio uh, or video recording inside uh, a federal uh, courtroom. You've got people on both sides, supporters of former President Trump, uh, and also uh, people who don't support him saying that the public deserves to know what's going on, especially with the timing of when this trial might be before a presidential election. Uh, the public should not have to rely on people who are inside uh, relaying to them what they see and saw and what the president looked like. Uh, the public should just be able to see for themselves. Um, there was a filing asking for cameras inside the hearing yesterday. Uh, the judge who presided over the hearing yesterday, a magistrate judge, said no, essentially saying, look, I'm only handling this one hearing. I don't feel like it's my place uh, to come in and, and make a decision like that. Uh, Eileen um, Cannon, who is the, the federal judge who would oversee the actual trial, she could allow um, cameras. Uh, she could make that decision. Again, it seems unlikely because it's very, very rare uh, for a judge to allow cameras in a courtroom. But the way it stands now, um, it's almost like we're back in the 1800s, Natasha, the way all of this went down yesterday. You, not, you had reporters and producers up inside the courthouse behind me. Not only were cameras not allowed, but cell phones are not allowed. So they basically have to take notes old school style way up in the courthouse. Um, while it's going on. And then right when it's over, you had about 200 reporters all running uh, to get outside as quickly as they could, running down the stairwell. Some people were, were finding pay phones inside the building, because again, you can't have your cell phone. So they had to find a pay phone and then call their editors or call people in their newsroom uh, to be able to get the information out. It's hard to imagine that that's really the way it would be for a full trial that could go on for weeks. Uh, but as it stands right now, no cameras, no recording. So uh, that's sort of what we expect, Natasha. Okay, we appreciate the insight. Brian Enton with that live report. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.